Good morning, children. Now I am going to take EVA subject for standard two. Now we are going to see animals around us. In the last class, in the last unit three, we saw plants around us. What and all we saw in the plants? We saw tree, herb, shrubs, climbers, creepers, and all we saw in the last class. That that one is. Plants around us. What and all the plants and trees we are having in our surroundings. We saw that one. Then what we saw? Ornamental plants, medicinal plant. Then cosmetic plants, henna, aloe vera. We and all saw in the last unit three. Plants around us in that topic. Now we are going to see animals around us. In our in our surroundings, what and all animals we are seeing? We we are going to see animals around us. Domestic animals. Wild animals, farm animals. We are going to see in the unit four. The lesson name is animals around us. Take page number hundred and nine, unit four. Animals around us, hundred and nine. See domestic animals, farm animals. Heading is there. Then chikku and tikku are two little sparrows. See here, two little sparrow. Sparrow means what? Chitu kurvi. Ge paranga. In a nest, two little birds. Sparrow birds is there. One is chikku, another is tikku. <coughs> chikku and tikku are two little sparrow. One day, one day. What they are saying? See here, the two little birds are saying, "Ma, today Chikku wants to explore the place around us." One bird is saying, little bird is saying, "Okay, but don't go far." For that mother bird, what mother bird is saying? Okay, but don't go far away from the place. So, when you pair mangalla birds, adnala don't go far away. Her mother is saying, "Ma, today." Chikku wants to explore the place around us. That means what? One little bird is flying and going to see the around us. What and all things is there? That little bird is going to see. Chikku was very excited. She flew away from the nest on a journey into the world of animals. What? Chikku was excited, very happy. Why? She flew away from the nest and went for a journey to see the world of animals. In the world, there are many animals. 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 Some live in forest. Forest level wild animals. Now, what are they? Wild animals. Say any wild animals. You say children name some wild animals. Lion, tiger, giraffe, bear, fox, and all wild animals. And some live in water. Some animals live in water. Observe the farm house, farmer's house. What animals do you see? See here. You are listening some. Observing some farmer's house in page number hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Take all of the page number hundred and ten and observe the farmer's farmer means what? Riversaya, weed. Riversaya farmer's house means so riversaya in weed. You see and observe what animals you can see. See, children see. Take page number hundred and ten. See, observe the farmer's house and say to me. Cow. One cow is there. She is getting milk from that cow. One lady is getting milk from that cow. One calf is near that cow. The dog is there. Then horse near the cart. Horse is standing near the cart. Then one boy is having the kid. The kid means water. Young one of the goat is kid. He is he hang taking in his shoulder. Then ox. Ox is plowing the land. See here. Ox is. Plowing the land. Then one hen cock is standing near the hut. See children, what animals we are seeing? 
dog one bird cock is standing there then kid young one of the goat hawks we are seeing then horse standing near the cart then cow near the young one of the cow is calf is standing and then birds are flying crows are flying did you observe it yes these animals are found in and around our homes these animals are found in and around our homes we take care of them we are taking care of those animals and help they help us in several ways some animals are called domestic animals some domestic animals help us in our farm work they are called farm animals some animals are there no cow hawks they are helping us in farm work hawks is plowing the land they are helping the farmer cow gives us milk they are called domestic animals they help us in several ways then the bird chikku saw the farm and farm animals the chikku bird flew away from the nest no that bird is seeing farms and farm animals she introduced herself spoke to the animal what she did da she introduced to animal herself and spoke to animals she speaking to animals she introduced i am chikku coming from the nest then she is introducing herself i am sparrow na vandu chittu kurivi my name is chikku enoda peru chikku the bird is saying ox father well, where she went and saw the farm animal she saw no see here ox and cow is there she went and introduced herself to this cow and ox see to ox hello chikku i help to plow the farm she told no i am sparrow my name is chikku she told her for that what ox is saying hello chikku i help to plow the farm i help the farmers to plow the land plow the land means vivasaayinga vechittu yer uluvaanga la adhu dhaan adhu vandu thallite ponaanga la andha mannil irukkiradha vedha potute povaanga appo yer uludhal solvaanga adhu peru plow the farm for that cow what cow is saying for that i give milk and my dung is used as a manure and fuel what the cow is saying for that cow gives us milk appo adhu enna cow enna solradha naan vandu paal kodupen ennudaiya manure na manure na saanam fuel adhu vandu erivaayku use pannuvaanga i give milk and my dung is used as manure and fuel the farmer provides us a home for that what farmer is doing farmer is giving one shed to live the cow, ox and cow will live in the shed only called a shed my young one is called a calf young one of the cow is called calf as we are staying in home and house no like that farmers vivasaayinga and the maadungalla thangaradhukku oru kottaikulla kuttagai solvaanga adu vandu shed shed see here this is only cow shed the cow will be stay there then they finished their sparrow went and spoke to the cow and ox now she is visiting a horse hello chiku i am horse what the horse is saying hello chiku i am horse people use me to pull the cart and for riding they take care of me my house is called a stable this is my young one fall f o a l do you know i can sleep both lying down and standing up chiku chiku went and spoke to horse for horse is introducing hello chiku i am horse people use me to pull cart cart means water ena solvanga cart vandi irukkom la kudura kudura vandi adha cart and for riding kudura savari pannuvom la nambo if we go for ooti uh, kodaikanal we we can see the horse riding there they take care of me people take care of horse and the young ones my home is called stable nammude veedu vandu veedu solrom la namba thangirathu appo and gudringa thangra ude edam peru vandu stable my house is called a stable the young one what what we call for young one of the horse fall f o a l 
Do you know? உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா ஐ கேன் ஸ்லீப் பை ஸ்டாண்டிங் குதிரை வந்து நின்றுட்டேவும் தூங்கும் லை டவுன் பண்ணிட்டும் தூங்கும் Then the chikku is visiting a donkey. Hello chikku, I am donkey. I am grey in color. What is the color of the donkey? Grey color. People use me to carry loads. What people do? People use to put the uh, loads on the back of the donkey. This, this is my young one fall F-O-A-L. For horse also same only, for donkey also fall only. My home is a stable. The donkey's uh, home also is called stable. For horse also stable. Then for donkey also stable. See children, the sparrow flew away from the nest and went and saw the farmer's house. What and all animals is there near the surrounding the farmer's house. Then the sparrow went and spoke to Uh, hawk and cow introduced herself then she came to horse and then donkey okay she went and meet this animals connect the animals to their homes and young ones by drawing lines see here page number 111 you can see here see here three animals is given their place is given in the center then the young ones is given here you should match children match for cow for donkey donkey lives in stable so draw a match it to stable horse also lives in stable only so match to stable stable cow lives in shed home of the cow is shed s h e d shed so match it to shed the young ones you know the young ones see the picture you know to match okay do it by yourself next domestic animals some domestic animals give us food items like milk egg meat and honey some give us uses wool and leather domestic animals is helpful in many ways they give many things for us children cow is giving milk hen is giving egg then goat is giving us meat and honey bee is giving honey for us some gives us wool and leather sheep is giving us wool with the help of wool we can make sweater socks with wool and wool and things wool and thread okay then leather we can make chappal belt hat and all we can do with the help of leather they are helpful in many ways for us chikku hello chikku i am goat she goat is introducing to sparrow chikku the name of the sparrow is chikku i already told you no hello chikku i am goat my young one is a kid the young one of the goat is called kid k i d kid my home is a shed what is the home of the goat shed s h e d shed people prepare has for our milk and meat people used to grow this goat for meat and milk we are eating mutton no that one is meat mutton is meat they they take us to grass people used to go and grass grass means what maadu vand aadungala vand meye viduvaanga vayalla அது வந்து புல்லு மட்டும் தான் சாப்பிடணும் அதுதான் கிரேஸ் ஜிஆர்ஏ ஜட்இ கிரேஸ் தென் ஹலோ சிக்கு ஐ ஆம் ஏ ஷீப் எஸ்ஹெச்இஇபி ஷீப் தென் ஷி இஸ் கோயிங் அண்ட் இன்ட்ரோடியூசிங் டு ஷீப் ஷீப் இஸ் ஆல்சோ இன்ட்ரோடியூசிங் ஹலோ சிக்கு ஐ ஆம் ஏ ஷீப் மை ஷெட் இஸ் மை ஹோம் இஸ் அ ஷெட் ஃபார் கோட் ஆல்சோ ஷெட் ஒன் லை for sheep also shed one leg my young one is lamp see here young one of the sheep is lamp l a m b lamp i give wool people use wool to make sweater gloves and shawls it keep them warm people used to grow this sheep for what purpose for woolen woolen purpose people use woolen the the sheep used to give wool for us with the help of wool we can make sweater gloves shawls it keep keep us very warm during the winter season then 
the going and visiting the bee honey bee chiku hello chiku we are honey bees our home is bee hive bee hive means thin cord we live together in large members we make honey from flowers honey bees vandu or kootama da irukum we live together in large members we make honey from flowers where they get the honey they go to each and every flower and collect the honey and they save it in the bee hive our home is a bee hive then cool hello chiku i am hen then the chiku is going and visiting the hen hen is introducing hello chiku i am a hen h e n hen my home is called coop c o o p coop means water koli koodu my young one is called chick c h i c k chick we we are reared for our eggs and meat chicken we used to eat chicken 65 no blue very tasty no for that purpose only people are growing chicken for hen. growing the hen and cock hen used to give eggs turkeys and ducks are also reared for their eggs and meat duck duck means what what turkey means one koli people are rearing for what purpose for meat and eggs chicku said i feel happy to have meet all of you thank you and goodbye she then flew away what chicku saying i am very happy to meet you all thank you and she is saying goodbye and then she flew away what and all she saw say children say chikku and tikku are two birds young one of a sparrow they are going and seeing the animals are around the world she went and saw the domestic animals what domestic animals she first she went and saw the farmer's house and she saw the animals surrounding that farmer's house what are the animals is there in the farmer's house surrounding horse kid young one of the goat is called kid then ox is plowing the farm then cow is giving milk and near that calf is standing then dog is there standing and looking then hen is the cock is there near the hut then sparrow went and saw the hawks and cow hawks is used for plowing the land cow uses milk then she went and met the horse the horse i hello chiku i am horse they are introducing each and every animal is getting introduced to chiku and the horse is used to pull the cart and for horse riding then home of the horse is called stable then she went and introduced to donkey and donkey also introduced hello chiku i am donkey then it is gray in color and people used to carry loads then she went and met the goat goat is used for milk and meat they live in shed same like that sheep sheep is also live in shed and reared for wool woolen purpose then she went and saw the bee hive she introduced it to bee hello chiku we are honey bees honey bees live in large members our home is a bee hive like that bee is saying then she went and introduced it to hen the home of the hen is called coop then young one of the hen is chick we people rear hen for eggs and meat sir and what chiku is saying i feel happy to meet you all chiku is very happy to meet all these domestic animals and birds and she says thank you and bye and she flew away from that place parandu poichu and the place with her happy ya okay okay children till this i took the lesson from 100 page number 112 rest we can continue in the next class children take your book and read sentence by sentence and underline children important words if see for example in 110 cow is there cow give milk and cow dung underline and read the word home also you underline home of a cow is shed you underline the main words children you underline i am giving you homework take your book and see for cow horse donkey and for everything you underline the young one and the home place 